one of the main requests that I get for help with technology is organizing folders on computers. It can be frustrating if you're not real familiar with technology because there's a lot of nuances and things that you can do differently with your folder structure on your computer. And some people don't need as big of a folder structure and can search in other ways, whereas other people want very detailed folder structures and there's no right or wrong way to do it. Organizing the folders on your computer can be pretty involved. So we're going to do an eight part series. I'll show you how to choose the location of your folder structure as part one today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm a tech and productivity trainer and my company is Gateway Productivity. Today's video is the beginning of an eight part series all about how to organize your folders on the computer. Part one will be about how to choose the location for your folder structure. Most computers will have a documents or my documents folder. You'll see here, I have a documents folder. I'm on a PC. I believe on a Mac, it also is called documents and it's probably in the iCloud drive there. Many PCs now, especially with Windows 10, have their documents automatically syncing into OneDrive. So if I was to open my OneDrive, you can see that same documents is right here. I typically recommend for my clients that they try to use these built-in folders because your computer is automatically going to try to save those different types of documents. So documents will try to save to the documents folder, pictures will try to save to the pictures folder that already exists and so on. So I would recommend that you try to work with that because then you're not constantly working against what the computer is trying to do and having to take extra steps. If you're someone who doesn't prefer to use iCloud or the OneDrive that you see here, if you don't want to use those, there is a way to turn that off. And then the other option is to choose that your folder structure lives somewhere else. If you're trying to use something like Dropbox or Amazon Drive as your location for your folder structure, that's fine as well. I highly recommend though, if you're going to do that, use this quick access quite a bit. And there's another video about that and how to best use it. The reason I recommend using that is because when you use a Dropbox or Amazon Drive that is not the main folder that the computer is trying to use each time you save things, it will automatically try to go to, let's say your documents folder, and you're going to want to steer it towards your Dropbox. And if you have your shortcuts here ready to go, then that will be much quicker and easier for you when you have to tell the computer, nope, I actually want to save it here instead. The main thing to remember when you're choosing your location for your folder structure is what's going to work best for your overall system. You need to be thinking about what that is for you. Are you someone who is keeping everything in Dropbox? If so, that's where the folder structure needs to live. If you're sharing with others and need them to have access to the folder structure, it probably needs to be in some kind of cloud, whether that be OneDrive, Dropbox, iCloud, any of those options. If you're a company that has a share drive, then that's where you want to create your folder structure. No matter which option you choose, the key is to choose that one location where everything lives. If you do have a situation where certain things need to live in certain locations and they're different, that's perfectly fine, but make sure that you map that out in advance. If certain things need to live in Dropbox, but other things need to live on your computer in your documents folder, that's fine. Just know which ones go where, because just like at your house, you need everything to have a home. Otherwise, you don't know where to put it. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also leave a thumbs up for the video or you can share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do this, you'll see a bell icon. And if you click that, it will notify you each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you for part two in the next video.